Today, the family of George Floyd met with lawmakers and President Joe Biden to call for police reform on the one-year anniversary of Floyd's death. President Biden initially made today the deadline for Congress to pass a bipartisan solution, but negotiations are still well underway. D.C.'s Raquel Martin has the latest now in our top story at 5. George Floyd. One year after his murder sparked global outrage. George Floyd's family took to Capitol Hill and the White House, urging the passage of federal police reform. We just want this George Floyd Police Act to be passed. Congress failed to meet President Biden's goal to pass comprehensive reforms by the one year anniversary. We will get this bill. On President Biden's desk. But California Congresswoman Karen Bass, who's part of a small bipartisan group negotiating a compromise solution, says she is not giving up. And what is important is, is that when it reaches President Biden's desk, that it's a substantive piece of legislation, and that is far more important than a specific date. One of the major issues holding up a deal between Democrats and Republicans remains differences over qualified immunity. The legal doctrine currently protects officers from personal lawsuits. Is there a way to compromise? Yeah, the, comprom the compromise is to let people sue the police department but don't interfere with the work of the individual policemen. Iowa Senator Chuck Grassley is one of the many Republicans who say they will not support a plan that leaves police officers personally liable. The president met with the Floyd family in a private meeting Tuesday afternoon. Despite missing his goal, White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki says the president still wants Congress to act. There doesn't seem to be a deadline anywhere. As soon as possible, he'd like to sign the bill into law. In Washington, Raquel Martin.